how's your name? Okay, Bob. If your name is Bob. Bob again? Yeah, Bob. Nice to meet you, Bob. Our paranormal investigation at Labrador Nature Reserve continues with more experiments and we capture an entity on camera. Alright, so we've put on some 1940s wartime music. Hoping to get something as a response from the entities that are around here. We spoke to Bob earlier and uh, as far as I know there's quite a few there's entities around. Few entities around. So we're hoping that this is gonna make them feel a little bit nostalgic, you know. Music brings you back. That's what I believe anyway. I believe the same thing. Maybe this is a song that you used to love, you used to sing along to. The air just got really still, did you feel that? Yes, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. The breeze just suddenly disappeared. <laughs> Something back from there. back there as well. Mm. <coughs> Are you watching us? You miss your girlfriend or your wife? That, that sounded yeah. like a bomb. Yeah. Artillery. That just made my hair stand. That one, one too. Was that the sound of a British artillery cannon? We'll let you decide. You need to listen very carefully to identify the explosion we heard. Let's try this again with these shortened clips. Yeah, that, that sounded yeah. like a bomb. Yeah. Artillery. That just made my hair stand. That one, one too. Oh. Huh. Sounded like freaking artillery. Yeah. Did you spot the anomaly moving towards Aaron? If you didn't, here is a replay. Okay, so right now we're gonna try something different. We are using a World War II Japanese air raid siren sound effect. And just when I said that, it suddenly got really yes. <laughs> breezy. So hopefully we'll get a response. Uh, Aaron's got the K2 in his hand. I'm gonna play it and we're gonna see what what's gonna happen. Don't be afraid to come close. No, nothing. Nothing. Uh, how do you guys feel over there? It's, um, um, it's different. The, the feeling is different over here now. Yeah, become good. a little bit more tense, I yeah, think. Yeah, it doesn't feel good here. Yeah. After we played the air raid? Mm. Yeah. It's like um, the vibe was friendly before when we played the music. Yeah. Play the air raid. They're and not, it's not too happy about that. It's either they're hiding, mm. which would have been the response. Yeah. Or they're just not, not happy. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
not too keen with what we did. Uh, Gap, can you search for artillery bombing? Gabby first played audio of a German artillery bombardment, which did not get a response, so she then played audio from the Japanese military archive. I'm a bit lost for words. We just tried to use uh, Japanese artillery. artillery sound and suddenly like can't even begin to tell you how quick the entire atmosphere just, just changed. Yeah. And I don't even know and it stopped now. Yeah. It's, it's calm again. It's calm again. <laughs> that was really, really bizarre. Whew. Got yeah. major goosebumps. The Do first you? one we played was German. Yeah. That had really no effect. Yeah, because I keyed in World War II artillery, so I think it went for the German, German one. German one. And then when I typed in Japanese artillery, uh, artillery yeah. it was like a hurricane was brewing. Yeah. That that's that's very very unnerving. That's quite awesome actually. Woo! <laughs> We encounter all types of ghosts in our paranormal investigations. I strongly advise explorers to refrain from communicating with entities. From experience, once you start a communication line with them, they will likely follow you home in search for answers. It is always better to be safe than sorry. We are standing in front of a tunnel. Now, Labrador Park has got its whole maze of tunnels and this is just the entrance to one of them. So what we're going to do is that we're going to play some sounds, we're going to play music from the past, like what these guys did earlier um, at this other part of Labrador Park. So we hope to get some activity here and we have a camera that is uh, pointing to the, uh, to the tunnel. So we hope to get paranormal activity on that camera too. Don't be afraid to come close. Our static camera captured this. A dark mass that moved from the wall into the tunnel. As we were leaving the nature reserve, we felt that we were being followed by an entity. We turned on our trusted K2 meter and it confirmed our suspicions. Oh my god. Hi. Is there anything to interfere with it? There's nothing here. Mm, not on this scale. Are you following us? Because... You can't follow us. Yeah, th that's the rule, right? That you can't follow us, you've got to stay here. 
There is no logical explanation for this. There is no overhead wires, there's nothing. We've gone past all these lights and we didn't get a reading until now. Yeah. And there's no difference between any of the lights. There's no electrical power around here. We are on a park, a pathway in the park, and there is no logical reason why the EMF meter is going right now. We've got to leave for another location. We are going to Mount Faber, okay? So we need you to stay here. We don't want you following us. Do not follow us. Yeah. Okay? Please do not follow us. We have this understanding that this is your home, this is where you belong. It's your own fault for, for, for being here because you could have moved on. It's gone. It's gone. Okay. Keep, keep an eye on it. That's what. Amazing. There is no explanation why that should be happening. It has been my goal to capture a ghost on camera. Not only is this extremely difficult to achieve, one would need a lot of luck. Nine years of hard work has paid off because we finally got it. This half a second footage shows an entity moving across the camera. When we slowed it down to the minimum speed on my editing software, we can identify an outline of a face. After close to an hour of pleading with the entity, activity on the K2 meter stopped. As mentioned in my advice segment, ghosts do follow us humans in search of answers. <laughs> 